to uh, zero, the following statements. We already know this. A to power x. If I raise any number to power x, it's a unique real number for each real number x. So um, if b is equal to c, for example, uh, suppose I have 3, or oh, 3 is equal to 3. And if the, if a is t, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power 3, and so on. Uh, so we're going to see all the uh, properties of uh, exponents we already know. So if m is less than n, so when we write a function like this, where the base, if the base a or b, whatever they call it, if the base is greater than zero and base is not equal to one, then f of x is equal to a to the power x is called exponential function. I can write it this way also. f of x is equal to uh, b to the power x, where b is a real number. b cannot be equal to one and b must be greater than zero. The base of an exponential function must be greater than zero and must not greater than zero means it cannot be negative and uh, it cannot be one for example uh you know that if if b is one then any number raised to power one one to power 100 is still going to be one so b is not allowed to be one one to power 1000 is still going to one be one so the base of an exponential function is not allowed to be one okay that's all they are saying there and then we will be told to graph an exponential function. So I'm going to pull up my calculator, even though uh, already uh, you can make a table of value to graph. I'm going to make it up. So let f of x equal to 3 to the power x. You notice that the base is greater than 1. Um, the base cannot be less than 0. The base of an exponential function cannot be less than zero. It cannot be negative, and it can it cannot be uh, equal to one. Okay, so if actually if the base, let's call B, if B is greater than one, then it's an exponential growth. Let's call it exponential growth. So that we start now exponential growth. Okay, so let me quickly put this in my calculator and so we see what an exponential growth is. And uh, we can also uh, quickly put it, uh, make a sketch, make a, a table of value for that. So what is, uh, how do I grab that if I'm told to sketch it by hand? I could be told to sketch it by hand. All right, so I will make a sketch. But before I make a sketch, I would like to I would like to make a table of value. So just make a table of value so that it will be clear. Okay. <clears throat> and this is my x. This is my f of x. Okay. Um, let me start uh, picking the values. Well, I already know that. Um, x can be 1, but b cannot be 1. So let me pick 0. If I pick 0, when x equal to 0, 3 to the power 0 is 1. 3 to the power 0, any number raised to the power 0 is 1. That's what this uh, properties of uh, exponents. When x is, let me use, uh, I'll be using, use 2. When x is 2, 3 squared is 9. When x is 3, 3 times 3, 3 to the power 3 is 27. So I'm going to make a sketch. So let me make a sketch of this graph. And the highest uh, y value is uh, 27, so I can actually make 10, 20, 
recovery because the highest Y value is uh, 27. The, um, I'm gonna extend this one also. All right, so the, and this is, this is zero, and I will use one, two, three. Okay, and when X is zero, Y is one, so that means every uh, exponential function cannot, so one is somewhere here. One is somewhere here. Where is my, uh, okay, just there, let's put it back. One is somewhere here. When X is zero, Y is one. When X is two, Y is nine, somewhere here. This is 20. It's nine. When x is three, y is twenty-seven. All right. And then if I pick another number, when x is a, a negative one, x can be negative, but the base cannot. If x is negative one, then y is one one third. So somewhere here. And I want to uh, connect the points. So you notice that the graph is rising exponentially. And I want us to know that this, at any point on this graph, the slope is increasing. At any point on this graph, um, the slope is positive. At any point on the graph, the slope is positive. Notice that we call this exponential growth because it is growing exponentially. Okay, we're going to see an example here. So this is an exponential growth. It's always increasing. It increases throughout its domain. The domain of this function is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range will be from, it doesn't actually touch zero. It's, we're going to see from one to positive infinity. Okay, well, so let's change. Uh, Let's change, let's find B. B can be between zero and one, but B cannot be zero and B cannot be one. So suppose the base is between zero and one. So let's graph, let's get another, maybe we can do it on the same graph. So I am actually going to, um, find the inverse or find a b suppose b suppose b is equal to one over three in other words i can rewrite this as let me write it f of x is equal to one over three all to power x well, note, note that this can also be written as f of x equal to three to power negative x. Yes. Okay, so they are the same. Um, f of x equal to one over three x to power x or this. And this means that b is between zero and one. And whenever b is between zero and one, it is an exponential decay. Okay, so we can make a sketch quickly. We can make a sketch of an exponential decay with our calculator. Or we can do a calculator. So let's make an, a, a sketch of an exponential decay. So the function is f of x is equal to one over three all to power x. All right, so let me make a, a sketch. And we want to see how this graph is going to, uh, this is x, this is my f of x. Okay, so when x, let me, I know that this graph will be learning to the left. So let me start from zero, or I can start from um, one. When x is one, I substitute one here, 
1 over 3 to the power 1 is 1 over 3. When x is 0, um, 1 over 3 to the power 1 is 1 over 3. When f is 0, 1 third to the power 0 is 1, because anything raised to the power 0 is 1. All right, so let's uh, make um, uh, when x is uh, 3, do I want to use 3? Let me use 2, 0, 1. Okay, let me make it 1. Negative one this time. Negative one. All right. So let's let's look at that. When x is negative one, then I have. I want us to know that this function is the sentence as three to the power negative x. So if x is negative one, then I have three to the power negative negative one. In other words, uh, x is. Uh, and then I have x is going to be uh, one third. Okay, so one third. Let me see if I um, did some some stuff here. Okay, so I will have uh, one over three. Then I have one over three. Actually, then I have three. Uh, no, one over three. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, uh, negative negative one is going to be three. So let's make a draw the graph on the left hand side. So I'm going to make a sketch of this graph on the left hand side. And uh, I have the values of x as one, zero, negative one. And the points I have is one, one third. So let me just make this one. Uh, one, two, three. When x is uh, one, I have uh, one third. One third is somewhere here. When x is zero, I have one. X is one, I have, when x is zero, I have one. When x is negative one, somewhere here, I have three. And if I pick another point here, you notice that it is going nearer and nearer to uh, x axis. So let me connect the two, two graphs, two points. I'm connecting the points. I can continue. So this is the sketch. It's a rough sketch. Okay. And then this is the graph of f of x equal to one third x or uh, three to the power negative x. Well, let's see. Uh, this curve um, is decreasing throughout its domain. So this is called an exponential decay. This is an exponential decay, exponential decay. Why? Exponential decay, D E C A Y, and exponential decay. Because any, at any point on this graph, the slope is negative. So it's decreasing throughout its domain. It is decreasing throughout its domain. Uh, the, the slope, I mean, uh, the domain is all real numbers, and the range is still from. Okay, so what are we just saying? Uh, we meet an exponential decay whenever, whenever the the base of an exponential function is between zero and one. If the base is between zero and one, if the base is between zero and one base. So we have um, exponential decay exponential decay when the base is between zero and one. Okay, so I can just say it's less than B. And when zero is less than B and B is less than one, the function is an exponential decay. We can put it in a calculator quickly and we see 